Hello and welcome to the Kanawha Valley Hustlers. Joe Justice here. I am with Lori. And Lori, tell me, what's your hustle? Well, um, it all started with a dream and a prayer um, back in, well, everyone that knows me and knew me as a kid that I wanted to have a dance studio. Um, instead, I went to college, became a counselor, became an administrator, um, and prayed one day that either the dream left me or something happened. Um, received a phone call from an employee I had, or someone I had worked with, a coworker, um, like seven years before and told me about a building that was for rent. He knew I always wanted to have a dance studio. So that to me, that was my answer to my prayer and I opened up in 2009 and today, my daughters, they graduated from W with a dance degree. Um, and we have Brooke, who's always danced for us since we opened. And so they are now the ones that are keeping the dream alive um, by teaching. We offer um, classes in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, um, acrobatics. Um, I started with, it was called In the Spotlight School of Creative Dance. Um, the name was a little long, so they have now shortened it to Spotlight Dance and Acrobatics. Um, so they are certified teachers, uh, certified in acrobatics. Um, we take ages from actually baby and the carrier um, all the way up to adults. We also offer bar workout classes. Um, and so we do just pretty much about everything. We have a very broad schedule and um, I'm very proud of them for continuing the dream. Awesome. And uh, tell me the name uh, one more time of the studio and where you're located. Um, the name of the studio now is Spotlight Dance and Acrobatics. Um, we have right here our St. Albans location at 1104 uh, Canal Terrace. And then we just last year, um, we actually started the process three years ago, but last year opened up a, a location in Canal City at 3906 McCorkle Avenue Southeast in Canal City. So you told me that this all came to you, it all came through prayer and it came through, you know, uh, some signs. Is that right? Yeah. So you, you feel like that this was more than just a desire on your part, that everything kind of came together for you? Yes. Um, I grew up dancing. My aunt was a dance instructor. Um, my nanny was a, a dancer when she was young. So it's definitely genetic. It's definitely in the blood. Um, and it was just, I wanted to have a dance studio and um, just, I guess, didn't really have, didn't know if that was where I was supposed to head. So instead I went to college, like everybody says that you should do. And I did, and I became a counselor and then went and got my administrative degree. And it just, the passion for dance never left me. I tried teaching at a community center. I tried, you know, coaching a middle school dance team, all of those I loved, but the, the desire for a dance studio never left me. And, and then, yes, when that, when I got that phone call from someone I hadn't heard from, from from seven years after praying either take the dream away or makes give me a sign um to me that was my sign so i followed it well i am glad to hear that you were able to follow that and and, and listen to your dream i i talked to a lot of people that are entrepreneurs early level they all they kind of have a little bit of a dream but um tell me a little bit about what that's like actually i imagine you had a stable job and income and everything and those first steps out in faith in starting your own business what was that like and, and how what would you tell people that are doing that for themselves um if you have a dream first of all it doesn't leave you if it's a passion that you have it's in there it's in your heart you need to find a way to make it happen even if it means that you have to work another job like i had to do um, until I got, I, mean, I, I kept my other job, but, um, I started off with, I think maybe like 10 students. Um, but it was okay. Cause I had a different job. So I was able to build that. Um, it was a lot of long hours. So if you want to follow your dream, know that it is going to be a lot of long hours, uh, starting out cause you have to build that up. Um, but you definitely need to follow your dream and your passion. And I guess that's an important point to to, to, to kind of drill down on is the simple fact that it's not necessarily going to be easy. And that's why you have to have that passion to pull you through, right? It is not easy. It's a lot of long hours. Um, it's scary. And having that confidence to do it, I think that's what kept me. I wasn't, 
like, how am I going to do this? Um, but you just have to believe in yourself and have a good support system, talk with people and just know it's not going to be easy and you're going to put a lot of hours in. But the payoff is amazing because then you feel at peace. Great. And as we're kind of wrapping up here, is there anything that you want to let people know how to get here, where to learn more about uh, what you have to offer, anything like that? Yes, um, we are on um, Facebook as Spotlight Dance and Acrobatics, LLC. Um, so you can reach out to us that way. We also have a web page, um, Spotlight Creative Dance. And um, reach out to us. Uh, also, a phone number, 304 five nine zero one seven nine one um and we will get you hooked up um it's a great place to be um great instructors we've been voted best in the valley for the past three years um and so yep we look we hope to see you all great great thank you so much for being with us and thank you for watching today and listening and remember this is joe justice the canal valley hustler reminding you to hustle hard Hustle smart and always hustle with a smile.